Ukrainian forces have advanced along some of the front line close to the eastern city. A Ukrainian army spokesman reported on Saturday that Ukrainian forces engaged in a counterattack have moved up to 1,400 meters at various points along the front line close to the eastern city. The advance is the most recent in a string of comparable victories that Kyiv has reported this week. Last month, Russia claimed to have fully captured Kyiv following the bloodiest and most lengthy battle since it started its full-scale invasion in February 2022. The official, Sir He, claimed in televised remarks that attempts by Russian forces to launch a counterattack had failed. He continued by saying that Ukrainian forces had destroyed military equipment and severely wounded numerous Russian troops. Thousands of Ukrainian soldiers who have received Western training and equipment are anticipated to participate in the counteroffensive. Around the midpoint of the land bridge connecting Russia to the Crimea Peninsula, one of Ukraine's most likely targets, Moscow and pro-war Russian bloggers reported fierce battles on the Zaporizhia front close to the city of Orykiv. The Ukrainian forces' main push towards the coast is anticipated to start on the southern front. The UK Ministry of Defence provided a surveillance update on the situation in Ukraine, reporting that fierce fighting is still going on in various frontal areas. In addition to $46.8 billion in military financial assistance from the United States, the Ukrainians are continuing to fight with Western weapons and gear. The bloodiest part of the war will be this. The Ukrainians must convince the Americans and Europeans that they are able to win this conflict in order to determine whether it is worthwhile for them to keep supplying them with expensive, cutting-edge military hardware. They will fight fiercely because they understand that Western support is limited. The Russians will also put up a valiant fight, particularly for Crimea, which the Russian government and the majority of Russian citizens consider to be Russian territory following the collapse of the Soviet Union and unintentionally falling under Ukraine's control. The goal of the Ukrainian forces is to breach Russian defenses in the south and push the enemy out so that they can attack the land bridge connecting Russia and Crimea.